Save some money, make your own presets in Lightroom Classic. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create presets in Lightroom Classic. Now you won't have to buy other people's presets unless you buy them from the Visual Center, but I don't think we have any yet. So now I'm going to show you how to create your own preset unless you want to buy one of ours. So first off, what are presets? Presets are ways to save develop settings or adjustments we make to a specific photo and easily apply those same adjustments to another photo or group of photos. We can even apply these adjustments during import. Let me show you how they work. All right, here I am in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. Over here on this left side column, there's a dropdown called presets. Let's open that. Now you should see a set of stock presets which came with the software. Let's pick one of these and see what it does. Let's drop down color and hover over the presets. Now you can see if I hover over any of these presets, my image preview adjusts to show me what the preset will look like when applied to the image. Now this is one of Lightroom's great features. Hover over any preset to see how it will look or affect your image prior to selecting. Now let's try black and white. Let's drop this down and hover over the presets to see what they look like. Now I think this preset right here, black and white flat, looks pretty good for this specific image. Now if I click on it, that preset is now applied. Those adjustments are applied to that image. If I drop down this basic adjustment panel over here on the right, you can see adjustments or these sliders have been moved to adjust my image according to the directions of this preset. So now let's try another image. If I select the next image and select the same preset, these basic adjustments that I'm applied to my first image are exactly the same as the basic adjustments which have been applied to the second image because this preset told Lightroom how to adjust this image. Now this is why I think we need to be a bit careful with presets. They work great, but they're not a fix all for every photo. A preset may look great on one image and not so great on another. Now just realize that someone else's presets might work great for them because of the way they shoot. Now let's get back to Lightroom. So a preset will just record and then apply adjustments we make to an image. So let's make one of our own. I'm going to make some simple adjustments to this image. First I'm gonna bring up the exposure a bit, increase the contrast. Now increase the texture and clarity. I wanna bring up that the texture here in the background. And I'm gonna bring up the vibrance a bit just to increase those colors. I'm also gonna warm it up. This was taken in the shade. So I'm just gonna warm up the image a little bit. Now let's add a bit of color grading to the image. Let's make the shadows a little cool as everyone seems to tends to do and warp the highlights a bit. That. Now I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna come over here to this left side column and select this plus icon next to my preset dropdown. Select create preset. Now if these boxes are all checked, I know that all my edits are gonna be recorded in this preset. Let's call this first edit and then let's actually save it to a new group. Let's call this new group TVC for the visual center. Hit create and then hit create again. Now we can see we have a new drop down here in this preset panel called TVC. If I drop that down, we see we have the first edit. Now let's select the next image and we'll select that first edit preset. And you can see the before and after of that image. Now that preset has been applied to that image. Now this is the perfect example of what I just mentioned. I don't think that preset works as well for this image as it does for this image. I think that snow goes a little bit too warm because of the color grading. So I can now further refine my image. Now hopefully you can see how presets can save you loads of time when editing. If I were to ever shoot a big event where I'm gonna be taking loads of images, I'm definitely going to be using presets to help me bulk edit. If you create or buy a good set of presets, they can help you do a majority of your post-processing, saving you loads of time. Just remember to proof every image and refine your results. Now if I go to create a preset a second time, this dialog box, which pops up, can be very helpful. First off, it reveals all of these adjustments, which can be recorded in a preset. If you see an adjustment listed here in this dialog box, it can be recorded. I can also select which adjustments I would like to be recorded in my preset. 
Now checking only the boxes for the specific adjustments I made is a very good practice. I'm gonna select check none, then go back and select just the adjustments I made to my image. So I adjusted the exposure, the contrast, I adjusted the texture and clarity, I also did the vibrance, and then I also adjusted the color grading. So now if I hit create, only those four or five adjustments will be recorded for that specific preset. Now this is a good practice to get into when creating presets. Let's say we have a set of images where the white balance changes a bit during the shoot. Now this can happen if our camera is set to automatic white balance. If I make a white balance adjustment to my first image and then record a new preset with white balance checkbox selected, that adjustment will now be recorded and applied to my other images. So it's a good practice to not check all of the boxes, just the ones we've used for that first image. Now here's another point to keep in mind. After the application of a preset, we can selectively adjust the edits. I'll show you. So I have this preset which contains some color adjustments along with an added grain effect. If I zoom in here, you can see that grain. Now, if I love the look of this preset on this image, but think the grain or the color is a little bit too much, after applying that preset to the next image, I have two options. You can see the grain there on that image. I don't want the grain. And I th again, I think that color, that warmth in the highlights is a little bit too much for this image. I can either create a new preset or I can apply the original preset and then refine some of the options like this. Now let's go back and change grain. I can just turn that off by double clicking that slider. Then let's drop down color grading and let's bring back that warmth in the highlights a bit. All right, so now I have a preset applied, but I've refined it a bit. Now let's say I have a preset which I've been using for a while, but now I want to make an update or refine those settings. Now this often happens as we shoot and learn more about our photography, our styles evolve. So I have two options. I can either create a whole new preset or I can apply the original preset and then refine some of the settings like this, like I just did, the color grading and the grain effect is now removed. Now, if I right click on that preset, I can select update with current settings. And now I can select update. And now those adjustments or those refinements to that preset have been updated. So if I go back to my first image, and select that preset. And you can see that that grain and color grading adjustment have been applied to that image from that original preset. Now, if you ever get to a point in your photography where you have a defined style because of all your images look a certain way, you can now start to create a preset for that look and apply it during import, saving you loads of time in post-production. Let me show you. Let's navigate to the library module. If I select this import option here, the bottom left corner, the import dialog box appears. If you need more help importing your images into Lightroom Classic, be sure to check this previous video of mine. Now over here on this right side column, we see a dropdown called apply during import. If I drop that down and select develop settings, you can see my presets are now available to select during import. Let's select that first edit preset. Now when I go to import my images, that first edit preset will be applied as the images come into Lightroom Classic. Now all of my images I imported will have the same look as this image when I view them for the first time in Lightroom Classic. Let's go back to the develop module. If you ever would like to export and share your presets, all you need to do is right click on the preset and select export. I'm gonna save it to my desktop and just call it first edit. Hit save. Now you can see a .xmp file has appeared on my desktop. This is my preset. I can now transfer this to another computer or another person and share my preset. Now, if you want to import a preset from someone else, all you need to do is select this plus icon next to presets and select import presets. Go to my desktop and select that preset and then just select import. It's that simple. All right, that's pretty much it for presets in Lightroom Classic. Remember, they're a great way to speed up editing or to save a specific look in order to apply it to other images. There are a number of great presets which come with Lightroom Classic. We can always create our own presets. I highly recommend that you just select the checkboxes which correspond with the edits you've made to an image. We can refine a preset after applying and we can also save those refinements as an updated version of a preset. Importing and exporting presets is easy. Just right click and select export 
or select the plus icon and select import. Now, if you have any questions regarding presets, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.